Ah, uh, look here, I have an update. Let me start the installation now, and after it's done, I'll show you what changes happened with this software update. Hello, and welcome to my video today. I'm going to be covering the software update 2024.38.2, and I just did the 32.7 update about an hour ago when this update popped up while I was shooting that video. So this is gonna be a short one with just a few changes. So let's get started. As you can see from the top of the release notes, we have Spotify free. Listeners can now use Spotify on their Tesla vehicle without a Spotify premium plan. Ad free listening, playlist previews, and unlimited skips remain exclusive to the Spotify premium members requires premium connectivity or a Wi-Fi connection. So that's nice if you are a uh, uh, cheapskate like me that does the free Spotify account, you can use that one instead. So I don't have to uh, keep using my wife's account. But uh, nice to see improvements like that. Next one we have on the list is Live One Powered by Slacker Radio. I covered this in the previous video. I don't know why it is repeated on this update, but I'll explain it just as well. The streaming app has been changed from Slack Radio to Live One. To access, tap the Live One icon in the application launcher. This requires premium connectivity or a Wi-Fi connection. So this is simply a rebranding of the Slack Radio to Live One. It also used to be just called streaming music on the Tesla music app. Pretty straightforward with that. Just a name change, nothing else different. Next thing we have on the list here is custom mirror tilted positions. You can now set a custom tilt for your exterior mirrors for when the vehicle is in reverse. To set custom tilt positions, navigate to controls, Mirrors, adjust tilted position. Then you can adjust the mirror as needed and press save. Mirror auto tilt must be enabled. So let me go and look at that right now. So I'll go into the main menu, get rid of the release notes and go into menu. Then I'll go into controls and then mirrors right here and then if you note I have auto tilt enabled now there's a new button here called adjust tilted position and I can use the left scroll wheel on the steering wheel and I can adjust it all right so I'm going to adjust the tilted position here and if I scroll the wheel down you'll see the mirror here is also moving down. Then if I press right, I can also scroll the right side down, as you can see right here. And when you get done, it should say save, but I don't notice save on mine. So interesting with that. So if you press adjust tilted position, the mirrors go back to their original positions. Press them down and then they go to the lower tilted setting. And the last thing we have on here is other updates. The diagnostics panel offers more information on your Wi-Fi connection as well as connection improvement tips. Let's go into that diagnostics panel. And let's look at Wi-Fi. Let me just click on Wi-Fi here. There's a diagnostics button now. There we go. Ah, interesting. It gives a lot of information on your SSID. 
channels, um, strength of the signal, download speed, very interesting. So I'm getting roughly 41. Uh, it seems to be varying quite a bit depending on the location. I actually have a pretty decent uh, position right now. I'm about, oh, 35 feet from my access point that's in the garage. And connection improvement tips. This says optimal, so it's pretty happy with how this is set up. So if you have any performance uh, improvement tips on the bottom to get your Wi-Fi better, you can follow those, but for mine, it seems to be pretty good. So this is actually a pretty nice little diagnostic screen if you're having problems with Wi-Fi in the car. So let me go back out of that. The next thing we have on here is hold the left scroll wheel and select mirror fold to fold or unfold the mirrors. So if we hold the left scroll wheel in, we'll get the menu that you can select different items. And, and now we have fold mirrors on the list. So if we press that, we will see the mirrors folding. All right, so pretty normal. And then when I press the menu again, they unfold. After that, this update includes important security fixes and improvements like they always do. And this release contains minor fixes and improvements. Yes, uh, so it, they, I guess there is some miscellaneous things under the hood that you don't see that are obvious changes. Pretty normal for most updates. So that's about it. It's a quick update this week, uh, not a whole lot of items. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.